Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Jane and I make knitting and crocheting videos here on YouTube. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I made this JW Anderson cardigan. Um, I followed the original pattern that the original designer released. It's, um, it's actually on his website. I will link the original pattern down below if you guys want to make one for yourself as well. I adjusted a few things. I used a lighter weight yarn and a smaller needle that matched my yarn weight uh, because I thought the original size uh, is going to be huge on me and I think I made a pretty good decision to um, size down the needle and size down the yarn because the fit is well just a little bit um, more oversized than I want, wanted it to be but it's not as huge as I envisioned it um, to look. Yeah, let's just get started to the tutorial. I used six colors to make this cardigan. Green, orange, red, black and yellow for the main panels, blue for the button hole band and the button band. I'm also using a smaller yarn in red to make the cuffs, the collar and the bottom ribbing. I used a 6mm needle for the body panels and 3mm needle for the ribbing. It is a smaller needle size to what the pattern tells me to use, but since I also use a lighter weight yarn, I adjust the needle to the recommended size for the yarn. These are how the patches look like. There's also a jacquard pattern for the red and black patch, but I've totally forgot to film it. I will explain each pattern for each part and I'll put timestamps on the description box below, so feel free to skip to the parts you're interested in. Let's start with the black patch. The black patch is constructed with moss stitches. To start, first, cast on 18 stitches. We need to cast on 18 stitches for each square of the cardigan. After casting on 18 stitches, for the first row of moss stitch, you'll need to knit one, purl one, and repeat that knit one, purl one until you reach the end of the row. For the second row of the moss stitch, you'll need to purl one, knit one, and repeat that purl one, knit one until you reach the end of the row. Then Repeat the first and second row until your square is 14 centimeters in height. My moss stitch square ended up having 28 rows. Next, for the yellow patch. The yellow square is made using the double moss stitch. To make the double moss stitch, we'll need to do a four row repeat. For the first and second row, knit one, purl 1 and repeat that knit 1 purl 1 up to the end of the row.
and for the third and fourth row, purl one, knit one, and repeat that purl one, knit one up to the end of third and fourth row. Repeat the first up to the fourth row until the square reaches 14 centimeters in height. My yellow square ended up having 26 rows. Next, the orange patch. The orange patch consists of garter stitch. This is the simplest part of the cardigan because we'll only have to knit every row. Knit the rows until the square is 14 centimeters in height. Mine ended up having 30 rows. Next, for the green patch. The pattern for the green square is called reverse B stitch. In my opinion, this is the most complicated pattern for this entire cardigan. The reverse B stitch also consists of 4 row repeats. For the first row, all you have to do is knit all the stitches up to the end of the row. The second row is where it gets a little bit more complicated. You knit the first stitch. Then, knit one below. Knit one below is knitting the stitch that is directly below the next stitch that you're supposed to work. Then, repeat the knit one and knit one below up to the last two stitches of the row and knit those two last stitches. For the third row, you'll need to knit every stitches of the entire third row. So every odd row of this reverse B stitch pattern is a knit row. For the fourth row, knit two, then knit one below, knit one, then repeat the knit one below, knit one, up to the end of the row. Then repeat this four rows for 14 centimeters. My green square ended up having 30 rows, so I stopped on a second row repeat. Next is the red patch. The pattern for this red square is called Jersey Slip Stitch. 
The first row of this jersey slip stitch pattern is a knit row. So we knit every stitch of the first row. And the second row of this jersey slip stitch is a purl row. So we'll purl every stitch of the second row. For the third row, we'll knit one and slip one stitch purl wise and repeat knitting one and slipping one stitch until the last two stitches and knit those two last stitches the fourth row is a purl row so we'll purl every stitch of the fourth row Repeat the third and fourth row until the section measures 14 cm. The last square for this cardigan is the red and black patch. The pattern for the red and black square is checkard. It's a 7 row repeat and since it's too complicated for me to explain, I'll just put the chart on the screen. Repeat the 7 rows until the section measure 14 cm. My jacquard section ended up having 20 rows. This is how the layout of the cardigan looks. There are some parts that aren't square, that is the collar and the shoulder, which are made by binding off a few stitches on each row, but I won't get into detail on that in this video. Next we have the ribbing. There are a total of 6 ribbing, 2 front rib, which are 94 stitches each, 2 cuffs, which are 110 stitches each, back rib, which is 182 stitches, and 1 collar, which is 119 stitches. All the ribbing are made using knit 1 purl 1 rib. Next, we have the buttonhole band. With the blue yarn, cast on 6 stitches. For the first row and every odd rows, knit 5 and purl 1. For the second row, Knit 1, knit 1 below, knit 1, knit 1 below, and knit 2. Row 4 is where you make the buttonhole. For row 4, knit 2, knit 2 together, with yarn forward, knit 1 below, knit 1. For the 6th row, knit 1, knit 1 below, knit 1, knit 1 below, 
and knit 2. This is the exact same steps with row 2. For row 8, knit 2. Knit 1 below. Knit 1. Knit 1 below. And knit 1. For the 10th row, repeat the 2nd row. Repeat row 7 to 10 until 9 cm have been worked from the last buttonhole, ending with row 7. Then, work rows 4 to 7 once more for the buttonhole. Next, the button bend. Cast on 6 stitches. The button band consists of a 4 rows repeat. For row 1 and 3, purl 1 and knit 5. Row 2, knit 1. One. Knit one below. Knit one. Knit one below. And knit two. For the fourth row, knit two. Knit one below, knit one, knit one below, and knit one. Repeat rows one to four until you have the length of your cardigan. Next, you just have to attach all the panels together, attach the collar, the cuffs, the ribbing, and sew the buttons. And it's all finished.